Gus is pretty good. He's a nice guy. Uh, he's strong. He smells good. Like, he deserves whatever he gets, I mean. But I'm just always there to give him the upper hand, you know. Uh, I'll tell stories about him, like he's cool. And then I'll tell other stories, like he's really, like, strong and stuff. Grade school. Grade school bros. We were bros in grade school. We had little kid visors, you know, the ones with the curly shoe strings. Yeah, I bought him his first visor. He loved it. So, uh, naturally, I went out and bought myself one, too. So we could just, you know, roll together. But, uh, yeah, ever since grade school, we've been pretty close. And I do have a bromance, it, you know, it happens. But the first step of getting over your bromance is admitting. So, yeah, I admit we have it. I accept it too. That's step two. Uh, but it goes way deeper than that. It's more, bro, it's like a bro, bro marriage, bro marriage, if, if that's a word. And if it's not, copyright it. Being a wingman is kind of a hard job. There's four major rules you gotta follow. One, you gotta back him up in any story he tells, no matter how ridiculous it is. You like him? Yeah. What's up, dude? Yeah, got you. Wonder how I got him? Save him from a shark. Put him in here. They're worth a lot of money. There. Yeah. Yeah, Gus had to fight off a shark just to save these little guys. Shark shit, right in the face, killed it. Ate it right in the ocean, bro. And number two, you have to back him up on any lie that he tells. What's up? Yeah, I'm really rich. Yeah? Did he tell you how rich he is? Rule number three, never look good or better, you better, never look better than the guy you're winging. Yo, bro, come on, man. You got a roll. You good, eh? Hey, yeah, you look good, good, dude. Yeah. You look good. What are you thinking? Take that off. Four goods, I guess. Take that off. I'll go change. I'm going to go change. Get out of my side right I'm now. I'm going to change. I don't believe this. And fourth rule and the most important rule is keep the duffs occupied. You might be asking me, hey, yo, B Puppy, what's a duff? Here it is. It's kind of an, it's an acronym. It's D period, U period, F period. And that stands for the designated ugly friend. All the girls your boy's gonna be going for are gonna have friends that aren't as good looking. Some might say a lot more disgusting than she is. So that's my job. I've got to step in and clear the haze. Sister, I love your shirt. I love this party. Me too. There are so many hunks here right now. Like, honestly, my cup runneth over with hunks. 
so many haunts here. Here's one. What up, ladies? Uh, Yo, uh, beat pop. This beat pop is getting as hot as you. What? This beat pop is hot as you. Yo, beat pop. You wanna get out of here? Beat pop? Yo. Coming. Yeah, he'll be here. I love him. I get out of here. I'll be back. Yup. Yeah. Yeah. So thirsty. Drink's not doing it for me. Oh. Hey, pretty lady, you look pretty thirsty. You must be B Pub. You're so hot. I'll do a little bit of that. You know, a little bit of that. I'm Beep Up, G Pup's ex best friend. How about me and you go hit the couch? And talk. You wanna go talk on the couch? Yeah, I mean, but lately our bromance has been a little shaky. I hate to admit it, and I hate to see it go, but I'm tired of being the welcome mat. I don't wanna get the doves all the time. I want a nice lady, a lady that respects me. A lady that's not too wasted. A lady that just thinks I'm special. Yeah, I think tonight's the night I'm gonna do it. We're uh, both gonna be partying at uh, this girl we met at the bar last night's house. She invited us to this party, set us in trouble. But I think tonight's the night I'm gonna tell them the way I feel. Hopefully get some things sorted out. That'd be nice. Shut up. Sick and tired. Sick and tired of you. Don't touch me ever again. I just I just did delts today in the gym. I saw you do delts today, bro. Just one favor, just take this chick. It's more Jeez. than one favor. Dude, she she has diseases right now. Who cares? It's a disease. You're a disease. A lot of cut. You're a disease, and I want to get rid of you now. I'm done being your wingman. I'm sorry for knocking this over, though. We're still friends, but I'm done being your wingman. Is this yours? Maybe. What? Stop. It's my brisk, man. You would. You, you always take my shit. And I'm through taking your shit. You didn't even drink that. I know. At least drink it if you're going to take it. Is it? We're done. Good. Don't need you. You're poor. I don't need you. I need this on my own. There we go. What's up? What's up? Here, I got these scars. Not really. All right. Well, uh, it's true. I got them from a Wolverine. Wait. Come back. Please. Please. Beep up. Yeah, I told him us how I felt last night and I don't think he took it too well. He drank my tea and spit it out in the sink. He seemed pretty mad and he walked out on me and but you know what? I'm glad I did it. I found a real nice girl at that party last night, Nancy. We sat and we talked and I didn't have to worry about protecting Gus, so it's nice. I think this is gonna work out. What's up Gus? What's up man? Last night got kinda crazy, didn't it? Yeah, kind of went out of control. Yeah, you do that sometimes when you're drunk. I know. I'm, I feel bad. I Don't realize how much I need you. I miss you, you cuz. I miss you too, man. Can we, be can, we, can we fix things first? Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. You know, I forgive you. Thanks. We can do this. It means a lot to me, man. You know what we need.
Look, soon as I step in the club, I swear my nigga, you can feel the attention shift. Start around 12, ended up around 2. I